We had Duke Ellington, and we had Count Basie, and we had Lady Day. We had our own royalty. The thing is that the royalty in jazz did not believe in a class system since they were all victims of that class system idea. They were into an egalitarian, human, warm, down home, spiritual, universal, high level that was more than almost anybody else in the society. And working in the dumps and bar rooms and, and places, they made those into temples of art. If you analyze their lives, you say, what tragic lives, and yet they left us all this gorgeous work. Now the thing is, not to honor the misery that people came out of. That's one way to keep artists and the rest of society being miserable, but to honor the beauty that came in spite of that. The fact that art, music, literature, painting, and human conduct can transcend the most wretched situations and that there is a higher level. Leslie Young and Roy Eldridge both walked in together just to come and hang out and listen to someone. They weren't playing there. And they both had on those beautiful old pork pie hats, the famous hats that they used to wear during that time in the 30s and 40s in Kansas. Mm -hmm. And they brought that with them to New York City and they kept their traditional. And the warmth that those two guys had with Prez and Roy Eldridge walked into the place just lit up the whole room. Suddenly just their presence walking in made the whole temperature of the place change. To know people like that was and is such a blessing. And part of our responsibility of those that's blessed to be around people like that is to try to pass on a teeny bit of that to others. Not with the idea that this was a time that will never be equal, which is true of all times, but now is the time. Happy birthday, Prez. 